Hello and welcome to this lesson on measuring mass. We will focus on measuring mass or weight using a scale. We will also examine some problems involving costs that are associated with the measurements of mass. Many people talk about their weight rather than their mass. Weight and mass are not the same thing. Weight is a measurement of the force of gravity placed on an object. Mass is a measurement of what an object consists of. The moon has less of a gravitational pull than Earth. This means that someone who has a mass of 60 kilograms on Earth will appear to weigh less on the moon. Their weight will be less, but their mass is still the same. Let's look at some scales used to measure mass. A bathroom scale is used to measure the mass of a person. A top pan scale is often used in supermarkets to measure the weight of different items. And this is a balance scale. Mass is typically measured in milligrams, grams and kilograms. We can also measure very heavy objects in tons. 1000 milligrams is equal to 1 gram. 1,000 grams is equal to 1 kilogram, and 1,000 kilograms is equal to 1 ton. Let's do a conversion problem. We need to convert 3,250 grams to kilograms. To convert a mass given in grams into kilograms, we take the number of grams and divide the number by 1,000. 3,250 divided by 1,000 equals 3,25 kilograms. Remember that we also divide by 1,000 if we convert from kilograms into tons. What happens if we want to convert something from kilograms into grams? Let's try an example like this. Let's convert 2,5 kilograms into grams. As a kilogram equals 1,000 grams, we need to multiply the 2,5 kilograms by 1,000 to give us the amount in grams. The answer is 2,500 grams. Usually, an exam question will also link a cost factor to a mass question. Let's look at an example. A shopper buys 1,3 kilograms of bananas at 7 rand 50 per kilogram. How much will he pay for the bananas? We need to multiply the mass of 1,3 kilograms by the price of 7 rand 50 per kilogram. The answer comes to 9 rand 75. Let's look at a slightly more complicated problem. A pharmacist who prepares medicines needs to consider the amount of medication according to the body weight of a person. A tablet contains half a gram of the active ingredient. The pharmacist knows that one gram of the active ingredient is needed for every 50 kilograms of body weight of a patient. How would the pharmacist state the dosage for a patient that weighs 75 kilograms? One gram of the active ingredient is needed for every 50 kilograms of body mass. There is half a gram of active ingredient in one pill. Therefore, one pill is needed for every 25 kilograms of body mass. The patient weighs 75 kilograms. Let's divide this by 25 to see how many pills he must take. 75 divided by 25 equals 3. This patient needs three pulls. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Using Measurement Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurement on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.